What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. Guess who I have with me today? Chef Hiro Hi. Terada. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank you, thank you. Good, good to see you again. Good yes, you. yes, yes. It's so nice to see you again. Uh, it's been a while, a couple of years, huh? Oh yes, yes. Since yeah. uh, last time was a uh, eel. Yeah. The big eel. Yeah, you did the big mm. eel. We did the coastal foraging. We went tuna fishing. Yes. Yeah, that was two years ago at least. That was some great videos yes. back then. I look back mm -hmm. on those. Mm -hmm. Still some of my best. Yes. Yep. Just throw it out there. It's a long time. I, I haven't tried this one. Yeah, you got it. This was sort of a last minute plan, but he was in the Bay Area and had some time to hang out with us today. So we decided to go try to fish for Bat Ray because mainly I wanted to see what he could do with something like that. So for bait today, we are using squid and herring. I rigged it up on a sturgeon leader with barbless hooks and this looks so tasty, even I'd take a bite. So I'm sure we should be able to catch a fish. All right, now we just sit and wait. Nothing yet, here's on. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I've been living under a rock. Chef Hero is a world record holder, a Guinness world record holder. Amazing. Oh, it's 2017. 2017. Wow, that's so cool. Well, if you don't know his channel, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef, go check him out. He's got all the cooking videos. He's out having fun going out. On boats catching tuna and yellowtail you just went yes caught yellowtail yeah. right yeah yeah nice well go check them out guys he's making some delicious stuff doing a lot of collaborations and this is our um, second time meeting up doing a collaboration yes. we spent a couple hours at this first spot with no bites so we decided to move to a new location we spent another two or three hours fishing but all we caught was small rockfish and an undersized lingcod and that was pretty much it for day one. Luckily, they had some free time the next morning and my good buddy Danny agreed to take us out on his Boston Whaler to try to catch some lingcod. It is a beautiful morning. The sun is just rising right in my face and we're gonna try for lingcod rockfish. We're gonna catch some jack smell first for bait. Here we go. Just gonna send a jig down. How deep are we right now? We are in 61. 61, all right. I have a line counter so I could be pretty accurate here. Jocelyn got some bait here. There you go. I'm sorry. Jocelyn with the first jack smell. I wasn't even trying and I caught one. Beautiful. <laughs> It'll be bait later. All right, Jocelyn, we need more bait. All right, live bait time. Going for that link hod. There you go. Nice, Rosa. Three. Oh, three. Yeah, all family. <laughs> come on, come on. We need more bait. There you go. And it doesn't Swing him into the boat. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Come on. Come on. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh, there's Adam. Look, die hard fishing. Adam's getting them over there, of course. What's up, Adam? How you doing? Good. Well, no, off to a slow start. There, there you go. There you go. Swing it in. Swing it in. Adam's uh, providing the fish today, right? <laughs> You're going to catch a sling, sling cod, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get us a sling cod. Anything. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'm not a sushi chef, but I can catch a few fish. All right. <laughs> Got everyone on. Just here and there. Your son over here killing it with the bait. Nice. Look at all this jack smell hero caught. And there's more in the bait tank, too. 
。ひろさん。刺身を。<笑>ベイマスター。<笑>ベイマスター。<笑> All right, everybody's got live bait on. We're ready to catch a big one. Well, the bite's been really slow besides uh, Hero catching all those jack smell, but this is our last chance. Uh, we're only gonna fish till about noon because Hero has uh, somewhere to be. He's gotta go to a party. Popular guy, you know? <laughs> so we're gonna try our last drift here and uh, hopefully we get one if not we have backup because Adam was fishing down there and he caught a lingcod already and, he, and uh, we're gonna use that <laughs> if we don't get one ourselves all right I think we can just call it yeah five minutes five minutes well yeah all right five minutes all right I think that's it. No, just uh, just Jack's melt. That's why we come to take your fish. Wow. Come to steal my fish. Always. Okay. Okay. Grab the grab. Yeah. Got it. Yep, I got it. Oh, wow, actually, it's got a belly. Oh, jeez. Right, yeah, there's, so, there's something in there. Something in there for sure. Another, oh, here, do you want this? <laughs> Throw it in oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a little octopus. Did he, did he puke that up or did he catch it? Yeah, he puked it up, but it's pretty fresh. Yeah, oh. right. Good. All right, man. All right. Thanks for the, for the fish. Saves the day. Saves the day. Right? As always. Yeah, that's, that's why we have him. That's, why. Call, that's the old diehard bailout. Yep, the, <laughs> the diehard bailout. All right, go. Hey guys. All right, Danny, thanks for taking us out on the boat today. Of course. Um, and that, yeah, you got a nice new boat there. <laughs> hey, ladies, Danny is single, and uh, he'll take you out on his boat. <laughs> but only if you're good at fishing. No, <laughs> no he'll show you everything. <laughs> Before we get to the cooking, a word from our sponsor. We're out doing some camping now, but today's sponsor is Butcher Box. Butcher Box is a subscription box filled with delicious, high quality meats delivered straight to your door it's nice having butcher box for a sponsor because that takes the pressure off of me on catching something so i get to sit back relax and enjoy cooking our favorite meats first of all butcher box believes in caring about the animals and caring about our planet and providing a good livelihood for our farmers they source 100 percent grass-fed beef free-range organic chicken pork raised crepe free and wild caught seafood with an unbeatable value of less than $6 per meal delivered straight to your door. And you can customize your box and set the delivery frequency and you can cancel at any time. For this holiday, Butcher Box is proud to give new members free New York strip steak for a year. Get two delicious 100% grass-fed New York strip steak for free in every box for an entire year. This offer is only available until November 28th, so get it before it's gone. Use the link in my description and code Outdoor Chef Life for this limited time offer. Thank you, Butcher Box, for sponsoring today's video. Well, we just got off the water, guys. Thanks to Die Hard Fishing, we were able to get this link on. So he caught this right here. Uh, you guys, please support his channel. Watch Die Hard Fishing. Check him out. Uh, he's a great fisherman. He is the best fisherman that I know out here. He's probably the one of the only guys that caught a fish today. Um, at least the link caught a keeper. So check him out, guys. And now, Chef Hero and myself, we are going to prepare this link cod. And we'll do it a couple different ways. I think he's, he has an idea of what he's going to do. And I'm also, I also have an idea of what I'm going to do. He's going to use the filet. 
and I'm gonna use sort of the scraps of the fish, meaning like the guts, like the stomach, uh, the liver, the heart, all those kind of pieces. I'm going to grill them today. And I'll show you guys how to do that, and I think I'll cook the head too, maybe. Go ahead and fillet this fish. I'll let them have the honor. <laughs> okay. The diehard bailout today. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Saving the day. So here I went ahead and uh, scaled the fish. Now I'm gonna gut it. I'm gonna take the guts out and probably take the head off as well, and we'll see what we can cook that's in there. And it's got a belly. It's got something hard in there. Check it out. <laughs> There's something in there. Oh, like a crab or something? Like a crab or something. What do you think? My, yeah, my, my money's on crab right. probably, huh? Maybe gold. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe gold. <laughs> Just gold, I'm gonna have to take it back. Yeah, <laughs> no take backs, Adam. <laughs> yeah, take back, no take backs. All right. By the way, guys, we're gonna be doing two different recipes. So one recipe is gonna be on Chef Hero's channel, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. So you guys go subscribe to him, watch his video, and I'm gonna be doing the separate thing with the guts and stuff. That's gonna be. You think it's weird? It's actually really good. And I'll show you. All right. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. Wow, look at that liver, first of all. Huge liver, perfect. But what is in this stomach that's so hard? So I'm gonna cut, cut it off over here. What is that? Is that a, that's a sperm sac? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. We'll keep that right there. <laughs> it's a rock. It's Are a you rock. Are you serious? It's, it must have been a tasty looking rock, or maybe he was striking at something else. Missed into oh, a rock. Oh yeah, yeah. Octopus, yeah, it could have been on the rock. Yeah, maybe maybe the octopus was just holding on to it. Uh, something like that. Well, can't eat that one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the stomach, right? I'm gonna actually take that. We're gonna cook this because this is this is like bacon, I swear. I've eaten it before. And the stomach tastes like bacon. We're gonna take that. Put that on here. Take this huge liver. Take the gallbladder off. We're not going to use the gallbladder. That's probably one piece that's not going to be good at all. Uh -oh. don't want, we don't want that leaking on to the, to the good stuff. We can just toss that. But this here, beautiful liver. It's big. I'm a fan of fish liver, all kinds of liver actually, but this is a good one. The gills we are not going to eat either. The heart, it's so small. We got a little tiny piece of the heart here. There's a dish in Japanese called horomo, and it directly translates to trash. Literally like throwaways, you know? That's what it translates to and that's uh, what we cook with all the innards and stuff, the intestines, the liver, and all that stuff is hormone. So this is fish hormone, and it is actually really, really tasty. I I grew up um, in Japan until I was nine, and there was a local uh, hormone shop right four houses down from my house, and I remember having that so many times always because it is so delicious and yeah that's what it kind of reminds me of so that's what we're making here just wanted to let you guys know that now i'm going to make some tare and what that is is just a sauce that's going to be for the these uh skewers okay i'm going to mix sake and mirin into a pot and i'm going to burn the alcohol off and add soy sauce reduce it probably about 20 percent and that will be our tare Sake from True Sake, San Francisco. A little bit of that. 
some mirin. We'll cook this off. We'll just throw it on the grill. So all these pieces that are normally gone to waste, that's what we're going to use today. We're going to focus on that stuff. And I'm taking all that's inside the guts. We're going to use the stomach and cut it open. I'm going to wash it off because it's we got some rocks in there, this guy. And we're also going to take this big liver and we're going to skewer that as well. And we also have the sperm sack. Might as well try it. So we'll use that. We'll grill that up and see how that turns out. I'm not sure how that's going to be, but we'll try it. And we're going to take the whole entire head and Chef Hero chopped it right in half for me. So that is in half and we're going to grill that right on the grill too. Everything's been seasoned with salt and I also have made that tare. So we'll get that going too. Wow, look how oily it is. I didn't put any oil on it, but you can see all that fat. It's sizzling. Look at that. So can you guys tell what this is right here? Looks like chicken. <laughs> this is the liver and that's the stomach. I'm gonna put a little bit of yuzu, yuzu kosho on the stomach and a little bit of shichimi on this, on the liver. A little bit of spice. This is yuzu kosho. So we just tried Chef Firo's dish. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. <laughs> and now we're gonna try some of my some of the stomach and the liver is ready so we're gonna give it a little taste test first come by come by you want to try sure try the stomach yeah a little bit use the kosho on this you guys want to try sure Mm. Like a chicken gizzo. Mm hmm. Texture yeah. kind of. The gizzo really Things comes like, out. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> like a chicken gizzard, really um, kind of almost cartilagey, but mm. Mm. chewy. Um, yeah, really good. Yeah, Jocelyn, come, good. come over here. <clears throat> come over here and you try too. You tell us. People, The people value your opinion. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> You like it? Better than the actual fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's chicken. It's like chickeny, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you guys want to try liver? Sure. I have plenty of liver. Do you want some? Mm -mm. I don't like liver. Jocelyn <laughs> doesn't like liver. Same. But we let's let's see how this tastes. Much softer. Mm. Got a nice crust on it. Mm. And because I put That's the tare, good. yeah. Mm. Tastes like an kimo. An kimo. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is really good. It's creamy. It's like crust on the outside layer, nice and charred. That right there is delicious. That was a great bite. <laughs> I've, eat, I've eaten Are lots sure? of livers. Yeah? I'll try the and this is edge. This is probably yeah. one of the best. One of the best livers. It's, it's like the... We had the liver last time you cooked it for us, the halibut liver, mm -hmm. but I like this one a lot better. Lincoln liver, yeah. This is yeah. like, it's crispy. Yeah. There's a lot of flavor in there. Yeah, I don't know. It's like... Yeah, really good texture. Like there's some, there's a little bit of bite left in it. Yes. All right, and we only have one heart. I'm gonna eat. Tell you, go for it. <laughs> Who's gonna eat the uh, spices? 
Here, son, will you try? Okay. Will you try with me? Yeah, of course. Of course, yes. This is a mystery. Okay, so this. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just go for it, okay? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's good. That's good. good. It's very creamy. It got really creamy. Like it tastes like oysters, kind yeah. of like. We also have the face of the ling tog, which actually has a good amount of meat in it. Of course, it has the cheek meat, and it's got meat along the top of the head as well. And it's really tender meat. So let's give that a try. Look at this. You almost like it quite a bit. <laughs> He's not making. It's like doing that thing with like. No one's making any noise. <laughs> not looking probably, at your camera. Probably hungry too. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Delicious. Damn, that was... Thank you, Adam, yeah, for supplying, you. Yeah. <laughs> supplying the that, fish. Without you, we'd be doing those with jack smell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah, true. Jack smell liver oh, probably wouldn't have the same. <laughs> I, yeah. I would have eaten it, but I would have eaten the bones for the smell the tempura. I <laughs> yeah, smell tempura I would have been without Adam. All right, well, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, it was really nice having you here again. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I know I wish we could have planned something more elaborate like we did last time, but this was still great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you for coming. Right, cheers. Bye bye. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.